everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be doing an air dry clay project. Voiceover Sammy here. Today we will be doing a fish chime project. What we will need is wax paper, balls of air dry clay, needle tool or toothpick, bowl of slip or water, a small marker cap. We're going to need to get our wax paper out, put it on our surface. We are going to grab some of that clay and we are going to make a ball. We're just going to move it around in our hand. This is a needle tool. This is what it looks like. Here's the slip that I'll be using. You can use water if you would like. I'm just going through this one more time. Slip and then that's the needle tool. You can use a toothpick if you'd like and there is the cap that we will need. I have the balls here that I have made earlier. I'm just kind of smoothing those out a little bit. Pinching and this will be the head of the fish. We, I'm just trying to make the shape as much like the head of a fish as I can. Just smoothing and shaping and I'm going to put my finger in to make it hollow on the inside and to shape it even more. So I'm going to grab some water here to moisten my hands so it's a bit easier to actually shape it and I'm I've got my finger on the inside and I'm moving it around and I did make a little mistake there it's okay to make mistakes if you poke a hole through the top just try to seal that back up and if you have cracks just try to seal those as well and just keep pinching and and moving and shaping as much as you can until you get the des desired shape that you would like I'm just going to keep forming the uh, fish head here and um, as soon as I get it the way that I want it, then we will move on. I'm going to put a little more water there, try to cover up that hole a little bit more, shape it a little bit more. And um, once I'm finished with shaping this, I will grab that cap. We're going to make eyes for the fish here. So I'm going to poke on the side and then I'm going to put some eye, like an eye on the other side. But oops, I messed up there and you know, it's okay. You can just go back and erase that and grab a little water and we will try again. It's okay if, if we make a few mistakes along the way, um, just as long as we smooth it out and, and it's like we just erased it. So. I will grab that again and try, I'm trying to figure out, okay, I'm trying to make it even. How am I going to be able to make this an even, even on both sides? And it looks like I have it here. I have it even on both sides. So I'm going to set that aside. Oh, now I need to grab the needle tool. I need to get that needle tool so I can make the mouth for the fish and we're going to shape that as well. We're going to open it up a little bit. We're going to put our finger on the inside and try to open it up a little more. We're just going to keep shaping that mouth so we can try to make it look like a fish. It takes me a little bit of time here by pinching, pulling, and shaping. And so there we go. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm grabbing some water and pulling out just a little bit on that mouth, shaping it some more. <clears throat> and then I'm just basically shaping a bit more, making sure that it looks like the mouth of a fish. Just keep shaping that. It takes time to try to figure out these things. Just, just take your time. I was going to use that knife, but then I decided to use the other side of my needle tool. You can use a knife for that. I'm trying to get the edges of the mouth a little more pronounced. And now I'm just smoothing out the little, what you would call fish lips, I guess. <laughs> uh, so 
I think I'm getting close to getting the end result that I want. I'm grabbing a little more water so the clay does not dry out. And then I'm going to set that right there. I'm just going to set it aside. We are going to be creating scales. Part, it's going to be scales. It's going to be parts of the fish. And I'm still trying to get this just about right. Oh, I'm going to put the nose holes right there. Although fish do not breathe out of that at all, it's just more like a sensory type of thing for fish. And um, so basically, I'm just I'm just continue shaping that, and then now we grab the other big ball of clay and we pinch a little bit off of it. Now we're going to make a little ball from this. It's going to be like a pinch pot. That's what we did with the fish head was kind of like a little pinch pot. So basically I'm putting my thumb on the inside and moving it around in circles so I can make it kind of looks like a cup a little bit or a little bowl. So basically I take this and see that's going to be part of the fish. It's like a huge scale on the fish. So I'm just continuing to shape that there until I get it to where it can fit on the inside of that fish. And then I'm going to set that one aside. And I'm going to make at least four more of these. And I'm going to do the same thing with these four. I'm going to wet my hands every now and again to make sure that this clay isn't sticking to my fingers and that the clay doesn't get too dry. So we're just going to go ahead and make a few more of these little pinch pot scales. And we have to make sure that they're going to fit kind of inside of each other. We want to make sure that they're going to be able to fit properly. We want them to go from small and then medium and then large and then maybe like an extra large. And that one looks like an extra large one so I might have to put that in a different spot. It just kind of depends on how big that scale is. Sometimes you have to make them a little bit smaller, sometimes you have to make them a little bit bigger. So that's why I'm actually getting some of that clay um, and pinching it off and, and kind of trying to judge how much clay I'm going to need for the size of that scale. So see here, I'm making another pinch pot and I'm just going to set that at, over there and I'm going to put this together. I'm going to assemble this to show you kind of how it would look like once we do put it together. So I'm setting all those pieces down. And now we're going to start working on the tail fin. So I'm going to set most of that stuff aside. I'm just trying to put it in order so it's kind of out of my way, but you can still see what's going on, like what it looks like. Um, I had to scoot up there. I was a little bit far away. So I'm going to grab this clay for the fin. And then I'm going to reach over and I'm going to grab a little more clay because I think this is not quite enough clay for that tail fin. And so I'm just grabbing that clay and I'm going to combine those two and roll it around in my hands. And I'm going to try, try to form it to the shape of a tail. We're going to make it a little bit flatter. And as we're flattening it, we're just pulling just the slightest bit. And we're trying to make it in the shape of the tail. So I'm trying to get it thin. And there you go. You can kind of see that it's spread out at the bottom. It's not as thin as I would like it to be. So I am still pinching and uh, pulling just the slightest bit. I'm trying to smooth that out a bit as well. And I'm turning it around and making sure that all sides. Now I am trying to judge if this tail fin 
is going to be bigger than the head of this fish. And I don't really want it to be bigger than the head of the fish, but I'm still working with it to see if I can maybe spread it out a little bit and see if it's going to. And I'm like, uh, I don't really like that it, it that the fin is that big. So I'm taking some of that clay away. And then I'm going to try to form that tail again. I just thought that the, the tail was a little bit big for this fish. So I'm just going to keep forming that and shaping that and pinching and pulling just the slightest bit. And I'm trying to make an end to it as well so we can have an end so we can actually put it together once the chimes are finished. So I'm just keep I'm just gonna keep shaping and pulling and then there's my fin there. And then I see how I'm just turning it around in my hands and working with the whole entire piece. And now I'm I think that the fin fits in perfectly. I think that that's about the right size. So I'm just going to work with that just a little bit more. I'm going to grab my needle tool. You can grab your uh, toothpick and we're going to make a few lines on there to make it look like it more like a tail fin. So I put it on one side and then I put it on the other side here just to make some more, just to make it more like an actual tail fin and then I am going to poke holes here because later on we will assemble this chime so I had to put holes on one side and please please be careful whenever you're doing this you don't want to be poked by this needle tool or toothpicks so you need to put holes on both sides of that then you grab your scales and you poke a hole in the middle of those scales and make sure that the hole is big enough for our, you know, we'll, we will have thread later on to thread it through there. So we got to make sure that whenever the clay shrinks up, that the hole will be big enough for our string or thread to go through. So I'm just poking holes in all of these. You got to make sure to poke those holes in there. And then I grab the tail fin and make sure to poke a hole through there. Be careful at this part as well. You don't want to poke yourself. And so I'm showing you there that we have the holes and I'm going to show you what it would look like when it, well, similar to what it would look like whenever we assemble it. So I'll show you a few times here. See that one didn't work quite right. It didn't fit in there quite well. So, I, it's kind of like a puzzle. You're trying to figure out which one goes with which. Like what, ha, what order are you going to have this in? And it's okay. You know, we'll, we'll get this. We'll try to figure out how it's going to fit together. And then there we go. There, that is what it, it'll look similar to that whenever we're finished with it and we have it assembled. And that will be in another video after this one. And uh, there's his little mouth <laughs> and then I put it on on the table and kind of spread it out a little bit to show you as well that that is kind of like what it will look like please like and subscribe thanks for joining me today and there will be more air dry clay projects to come see you next time bye